Bob Holland. It is MXSRH. He likes to start on the outside, Rob Ryder, and just work hard. Look at this guy. An absolute G monster, if you will. He now disappears up there, right above his own smoke, and starts his way back down the line. Look at this. Lots and lots of gyroscopic maneuvers to be expected from this guy. That means a lot of tumbling, a lot of flipping around, and a lot of around. Rob Holland does it all with such precision. Precision all the way up to the top here. Hangs it up right into the sun. We don't watch him as he comes out the other side. Now here he goes again, pushing back up around the top. There we go. Rob Ryder, what do we call that one? They call that the inside flip is what they call that. And this is an airplane that enables him to do some of these maneuvers that 40 years ago never, nobody ever believed were possible. That's right, a lot of the inspiration from our Aerobatic guys, comes, believe it or not, from the folks who fly radio control models. Rob Holland, he says, though, doesn't like to watch anybody fly. He likes to dream up his own stuff and admit it just like this. A dink, a basic tumbling maneuver, but he'll tap onto it with a pinwheel and then turn it back around, a 360-degree spin in the air. I don't know how he does it. I don't either. That's Rob Nobody's Holland. ever done that. No, and that's why he is the multiple world freestyle champion. Tell everybody, Rob. All right, five-time world unlimited freestyle aerobatic champion and the ten-time and current reigning and record-setting U.S. unlimited aerobatic champion. There's nobody that's ever done it ten times. The, our old friend Leo Lundenslager, the late Leo Lundenslager, did it eight times. Rob Holland now sure owns has. that title. Nobody in the world has achieved that. And he's certainly a humble guy, too, when you talk to him. One of the most down-to-earth types of, of people you could ever hope for. Very quiet, very reserved, but uh, just a, a guy that flies with an unrelenting spirit. I mean, look at that. That's the quadruple knife edge tumble. Putting the right wing out in front with all the energy still on the forward, even though the airplane is to the flight path. We joked that Rob Holland is superhuman, so is his airplane. It's an all carbon fiber structure with very little better, using truly state-of-the-art space-age materials to hold it together and up to the punishment that Rob Holland hands out each and every flight. And yet he has been able to push this plane to its limit on a couple of occasions. Once he broke a rudder pedal he was pushing on it so hard, it had to be re-welded. Well, this particular model, the RH, built to his standards and his needs, and you'll see why on this turnaround. Look at that hard. Now he goes backwards and then throws the tail over the nose. So he started to look like he was going to do a backflip and then turned it into a forward flip. And of course, all of that has an effect on his body, especially the heart. It has to continue to pump and pump hard. Keep the blood up in his head. All of these outside maneuvers that he does, that actually tries to push the blood right back up into his head. And you can actually have my balls and all kinds of things. Anything, as long as it's around the side, lots of spins, better known as aileron rolls, and watch what he's going to do right when he gets to the tippy top. It's another one of those pushes, Rob Ryder. Yep. But really hard, right over the top, and he just keeps going. One and a half. Degree of difficulty, 40.5 is what that is. I think a, 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 a figure skater or a diver wishes that he was going to do that. But you will reference to radio those, those pilots are so talented and just watch them to try to replicate some of the things they do in real life, full scale. Today they're watching him slide around the sky like he just did. Comes up and over the top. Keep your eyes. Watch for this. That's the Cobra. Watch him. Goes to zero airspeed. Pushes it out. Puts it in a spin. And in just a moment, we're going to have the opportunity to go live to the cockpit. And uh, Matt, why don't you give him a call? Eric, take one more of your time. And ask you 
each and every one of you to help do me a favor. When you see a military man or woman in uniform, or a veteran, I want you to walk up to them, look them in the eyes, shake their hands, and say thank you. You know, it's this service, sacrifice, bravery and dedication give each and every one of us the freedom that we cherish so much. And from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to dedicate this heart to each and every one of them. Just incredible, Rob Holland. Thanks so much, bud. They love you. Thank you. All right, just gonna climb up and get ready for the second half of my show. Look at a lot of energy. We do about 300 miles an hour at the bottom of this dive. Hope everyone's enjoying watching as much as I'm enjoying flying. Every side, he just doesn't let up. It starts now with this punishing pool. What does he have in store for us? More of the most creative flying of anybody on the face of the earth point rules on the upline. Now he goes into a torque roll where the engine turns one way and he backs it up. He'll stop. He'll let the nose come now through the horizon and point it back down and go into a, go into a series of spin, a knife edge spin, a flat spin, and an inverted flat spin, and then watch for the quick recovery. That's a triple spin, three different kinds of spin in three turns. That is insane to think about. A guy who, among other honors, that he has received. He is one of the newest honorary Blue Angels made, and just with Michael Goulian on Thursday of this week, did a photo mission with the entire Blue Angels Delta over the freeway here in San Diego. With him upside down, Rob, uh, uh, Michael Goulian right side up, and the entire Delta in the background. Just love it. Love watching Rob Holland fly. Now we talked about precision, you can see some of that right here, how he's holding that line even though he's rolling all the way around it. it There's is, 10 seconds. He's just standing it there, this is showing off now, Rob. There's even, 15 seconds. I mean, come on. Wow, held it for a full 15 uh -uh. seconds. Airplanes are like sharks, they have to be moving Rob Holland. Keeps it moving somehow, even while it's perfectly still. We don't He's know how he does it. Kills, I tell you. Uh, remarkable guy, remarkable talent. And of course, it's all possible from his sponsor, Solutions. Sling Pilot Academy, full stop aviation, accelerate, Micon engines, whirlwind propellers, and two pro aviation. We want to watch him. Down in Louisiana. Louisiana, yeah, yeah. Down in Louisiana. We, we want to watch this land, though, because nobody does a landing like Rob Holland. Oh, sure he does. Well, no. not from that altitude. Don't watch that. He's not going to land. He's now, on really? final approach. No. Yeah, I guarantee it. He's going to land. Yep. Right now. Watch it. Starts oh. it off with a flat spin. Well, so the airplane is now falling. Yeah, right? Well, more or less, but it's Rob Holland. It's okay. It's under control. Yeah, it's a controlled look fall. Look at this. He now fell the airplane. He's going to slip it, and not just a slip like you do in a 172. I mean, he's going to slip it. Look at him, he's going sideways, almost 30 degrees. Yeah. Okay, now he's going fast, he's touched down. Thank nope. you, everybody. No, nice no, no. job, Rob. Watch. Keep watching, keep watch. watching. Just watch, watch. Look at oh, this. No. Yeah, an aileron roll. Why not? Well, and he gets two landings out of it. Yeah, his currency is... <laughs> Here we go, Rob Holland. Look at him sitting back there, and that thing looks like an easy chair. 